Elizabeth Woodville was Queen Consort of England as the spouse of King Edward IV from 1464 until his death in 1483. At the time of her birth, her family was mid-ranked in the English aristocracy. Her first marriage was to a minor supporter of the House of Lancaster, Sir John Grey of Graby. He died at the Second Battle of St Albans, leaving Elizabeth a widowed mother of two sons. Her second marriage, to Edward IV, was a cause car copyright l'arbre of the day, thanks to Elizabeth's great beauty and lack of great estates. Edward was only the second king of England since the Norman Conquest to have married one of his subjects, and Elizabeth was the first such consort to be crown queen. Her marriage greatly enriched her siblings and children, but their advancement incurred the hostility of Richard Neville, Earl of Warwick, the kingmaker, and his various alliances with the most senior figures in the increasingly divided royal family. This hostility turned into open discord between King Edward and Warwick, leading to a battle of wills that finally resulted in Warwick switching allegiance to the Lancastrian cause. Elizabeth remained politically influential even after her son, briefly proclaimed King Edward V of England, was deposed by her brother-in-law, Richard III, and she would play an important role in securing Henry VII's accession to the throne in 1485, which ended the Wars of the Roses. However, after 1485 she was forced to yield preeminence to Henry's mother, Lady Margaret Beaufort, and her influence on events in these years, and her eventual departure from court into retirement, remains obscure. Woodville's children included the princes in the Tower and Elizabeth of York. By the latter she was maternal grandmother of Henry VIII and great-grandmother of King Edward VI, and Queens Mary I and Elizabeth I, of England, and the great-great-grandmother of Mary, Queen of Scots. Through her daughter, Elizabeth of York, she is the ancestor of every English monarch since Henry VIII and every Scottish monarch since James V of Scotland. Early life and first marriage, Elizabeth Woodville was born about 1437, possibly in October, at Grafton Regis, Northamptonshire. She was the first-born child of a socially unequal marriage that had briefly scandalized the English court. Her father, Sir Richard Woodville, was merely a knight at the time of her birth. The Woodvilles, though an old and respectable family, were genteel rather than noble, a reasonably landed and wealthy family that had previously produced commissioners of the peace, sheriffs, and MPs rather than peers of the realm. Sir Richard's own father had made a good career in royal service, rising to be Chamberlain to John of Lancaster, Duke of Bedford. Sir Richard followed his father into service with the Duke, and so first met Jaquetta of Luxembourg. The daughter of Peter of Luxembourg, Count of St. Paul, and Margaret de Beau, she had been married to the Duke of Bedford in 1433 at the age of 17. He was significantly older than Jaquetta of Luxembourg a euro his second wife a euro, and in ill health, and he died in 1435, leaving Jaquetta of Luxembourg a childless, wealthy widow. She was required to seek permission from the king before remarrying. But in March 1437, it was revealed that she had secretly married Sir Richard Woodville, who was far below her in rank and not considered a suitable husband for the lady still honoured as the king's aunt. The couple were fined a £1,000, but this was remitted in October of the same year. Despite this inauspicious start, the married couple soon prospered, thanks mainly to Jaquetta of Luxembourg's continuing prominence in the royal family. She retained her rank and dower as Duchess of Bedford, the latter initially providing an income of between a £7,000 and a £8,000 per year. Sir Richard was honoured with military ranks, in which he proved himself a capable soldier. Further honours for both came when Henry VI married Margaret of Anjou, whose uncle was Jaquetta's brother-in-law. The Woodvilles were among those chosen to escort the bride back to England, and the family benefited further through this double connection to the royal family, and Sir Richard was raised to the rank of Baron Rivers in 1448. Their children therefore would have grown up enjoying privilege and material comfort. Thomas More claimed that Elizabeth was synonymous with Isabel Grey, a maid of honour to Margaret of Anjou, Queen of Henry VI, in 1445. Modern historians have noted that there are several more likely candidates to be this lady, including Lady Isabella Grey, who accompanied Margaret to England from France in 1445, or an Elizabeth Grey who was a widowed mother by 1445. 
In about 1452, Elizabeth Woodville married Sir John Grey of Grabby, the heir to a barony. He was killed at the Second Battle of St. Albans in 1461, fighting for the Lancastrian cause, which would become a source of irony as Edward IV was the Yorkist claimant to the throne. Elizabeth Woodville's two sons from this first marriage were Thomas and Richard. Elizabeth Woodville was called the most beautiful woman in the island of Britain with heavy lidded eyes like those of a dragon. Queen consort, Edward IV had many mistresses, the most notorious being Jane Shaw, and did not have a reputation for fidelity. His marriage to the widowed Elizabeth Woodville took place secretly and, though the date is not accepted as exactly accurate, it is traditionally said to have taken place at her family home in Northamptonshire on May 1, 1464, just over three years after he had taken the English throne after leading the Yorkists in an overwhelming victory over the Lancastrians at the Battle of Toton. Elizabeth Woodville was crowned Queen on May 26, 1465, the Sunday after Ascension Day. In the early years of his reign, Edward IV's governance of England was dependent upon a small circle of supporters, most notably his cousin, Richard Neville, Earl of Warwick. At around the time of Edward IV's secret marriage, Warwick was negotiating an alliance with France in an effort to thwart a similar arrangement being made by his sworn enemy Margaret of Anjou, wife of the deposed Henry VI. The plan was that Edward IV should marry a French princess. When his marriage to Elizabeth Woodville, who was both a commoner and from a family of Lancastrian supporters, became public, Warwick was both embarrassed and offended, and his relationship with Edward IV never recovered. The match was also badly received by the Privy Council, who according to Jean de Warren told Edward with great frankness that he must know she was no wife for a prince such as himself. With the arrival on the scene of the new queen came a host of siblings who soon married into some of the most notable families in England. Three of her sisters married the sons of the Earls of Kent, Essex and Pembroke. Another sister, Catherine Woodville, married the Queen's eleven-year-old ward Henry Stafford, second Duke of Buckingham. However, Buckingham joined the Duke of Gloucester in opposition to the Woodvilles after the death of Edward IV. One marriage was that of her twenty-year-old brother John Woodville to Catherine, Duchess of Norfolk, daughter of Ralph Neville, first Earl of Westmoreland, by Joan Beaufort, and widow of John Mowbray, second Duke of Norfolk. Catherine Neville had been widowed three times and was probably in her sixties. When Elizabeth Woodville's relatives, especially her brother, Anthony Woodville, second Earl Rivers, began to challenge Warwick's preeminence in English political society, Warwick conspired with his son-in-law, the Duke of Clarence, the king's younger brother. One of his followers accused Elizabeth Woodville's mother, the Dowager Duchess of Bedford, of practicing witchcraft. Jaquetta of Luxembourg was acquitted the following year. Warwick and Clarence twice rose in revolt and then fled to France. Warwick formed an uneasy alliance with the Lancastrian Queen Margaret of Anjou and restored her husband Henry VI to the throne in 1470, but, the following year, Edward IV returned from exile and defeated Warwick at the Battle of Barnet and the Lancastrians at the Battle of Tewkesbury. Henry VI was killed soon afterwards. Following her husband's temporary fall from power, Elizabeth Woodville sought sanctuary in Westminster Abbey, where she gave birth to a son, Edward. Her marriage to Edward IV produced a total of ten children, including another son, Richard, Duke of York, who would later join his brother as one of the princes in the tower. Five daughters also lived to adulthood. Elizabeth Woodville engaged in acts of Christian piety, which was in keeping with what was expected of a medieval queen consort. Her acts included making pilgrimages, obtaining a papal indulgence for those who knelt and said the Angelus three times per day, and founding the chapel of St. Erasmus in Westminster Abbey. Queen Dowager, following Edward IV's sudden death, possibly from pneumonia, in April 1483, Elizabeth Woodville became Queen Dowager for 63 days as her young son, Edward V became king, with his uncle, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, acting as Lord Protector. Fearing the Woodvilles would attempt to monopolize power, Gloucester quickly moved to take control of the young king and had Anthony Woodville, second Earl Rivers, and Richard Grey, brother and son to Elizabeth Woodville, arrested. The young king was transferred to the Tower of London to await the coronation. With her younger son and daughters, 
Elizabeth Woodville again sought sanctuary. Lord Hastings, the late King's leading supporter in London, initially endorsed Gloucester's actions, but Gloucester then accused him of conspiring with Elizabeth Woodville against him. Hastings was summarily executed. Whether any such conspiracy really occurred is not known. Richard accused Elizabeth of plotting to murder and utterly destroy him. Gloucester now moved to take the throne himself and on June 25, 1483 he had Elizabeth Woodville's son and brother executed in Pontefract Castle, Yorkshire. In an act of Parliament, the titulus regius, he declared his elder brother's children with Elizabeth Woodville illegitimate on the grounds that his brother had a pre-contract with the widow Lady Eleanor Butler, which was considered a legally binding contract that rendered any other marriage contract invalid. One source the Burgundian chronicler Philippe de Commines, says that Robert Stillington, Bishop of Bath and Wells, claimed to have carried out an engagement ceremony between Edward IV and Lady Eleanor. The act also contained charges of witchcraft against Elizabeth Woodville, but gave no details and had no further repercussions. As a consequence, the Duke of Gloucester and Lord Protector became King Richard III. Edward V who was no longer king and his brother Richard, Duke of York, remained in the Tower of London. They were never seen again after mid-1483. Life under Richard III, now referred to as Dame Elizabeth Grey, she conspired to free her sons and restore the elder to the throne. However, when the Duke of Buckingham, one of Richard III's closest allies, entered the conspiracy, he told her that the princes had been murdered. Elizabeth Woodville and Buckingham now allied themselves with Lady Margaret Beaufort and espoused the cause of Margaret Beaufort's son Henry Tudor, a great-great-great-grandson of King Edward III, the closest male heir of the Lancastrian claim to the throne with any degree of validity. To strengthen his claim and unite the two feuding noble houses, Elizabeth Woodville and Margaret Beaufort agreed that the latter's son should marry the former's eldest daughter, Elizabeth of York who upon the death of her brothers became the heiress of the House of York. Henry Tudor agreed to this plan and in December publicly swore an oath to that effect in the cathedral in Rennes, France. A month earlier, an uprising in his favour, led by Buckingham, had been crushed. Richard III's first Parliament of January 1484 stripped Elizabeth Woodville of all the lands given her during Edward IV's reign. On March 1, 1484, Elizabeth Woodville and her daughters came out of sanctuary after Richard III publicly swore an oath that her daughters would not be harmed or molested and that they would not be imprisoned in the Tower of London or in any other prison. He also promised to provide them with marriage portions and to marry them to gentlemen born. The family returned to court, outwardly reconciled to Richard III. After the death of Richard III's queen, Anne Neville, in March 1485, Rumours arose that the now widowed king was going to marry his beautiful and young niece Elizabeth of York. Richard III issued a denial. Though according to the Crowland Chronicle he was pressured to do this by the Woodville's enemies who feared, among other things, that they would have to return the lands they had confiscated from the Woodville's. Life under Henry VII, in 1485, Henry Tudor invaded England and defeated Richard III at the Battle of Bosworth Field. As king, Henry VII married Elizabeth of York and had the titulus regius revoked. Elizabeth Woodville was accorded the title and honours of a Queen Dowager. Scholars differ about why Dowager Queen Elizabeth spent the last five years of her life living at Bermondsey Abbey, to which she retired on February 12, 1487. Among her modern biographers, David Baldwin believes that Henry VII forced her retreat from the court while Arlene Oakland presents evidence from July 1486 that she was already planning her retirement from court to live a religious, contemplative life at Bermondsey Abbey. Another suggestion is that her retreat to Bermondsey was forced on her because she was in some way involved in the 1487 Yorkist rebellion of Lambert Simnel, or at least was seen as a potential ally of the rebels. At Bermondsey Abbey, Elizabeth Woodville was treated with all the respect due to a Queen Dowager, lived a regal life and received a pension of a £400 and small gifts from Henry VII. She was present at the birth of her granddaughter, Margaret, at Westminster Palace, in November 1489, and at the birth of her grandson, the future Henry VIII, at Greenwich Palace, in June 1491. Her daughter, Queen Elizabeth, visited her on occasion at Bermondsey, although one of her other daughters, 
Cecily of York, visited her more often. Henry VII briefly contemplated marrying his mother-in-law off to King James III of Scotland, when James III's wife, Margaret of Denmark, died in 1486. However, James III was killed in battle in 1488, rendering the plans of Henry VII moot. Elizabeth Woodville died at Bermondsey Abbey on June 8, 1492. With the exception of the Queen, who was awaiting the birth of her fourth child, and Cecily of York, her daughters attended the funeral at Windsor Castle, Anne of York, Catherine of York and Bridget of York. Elizabeth Woodville's will specified a simple ceremony. The surviving accounts of her funeral on June 12, 1492 suggest that at least one source clearly felt that a queen's funeral should have been more splendid, and may have objected that Henry VII had not seen fit to arrange a more queenly funeral for his mother-in-law, despite the fact that the simplicity was the Queen Dowager's own wish. Elizabeth was laid to rest in the same chantry as her husband King Edward IV in St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. Ancestry, Issue of Elizabeth Woodville, by Sir John Gray, Thomas Gray, Earl of Huntingdon, Marquess of Dorset and Lord Ferrers de Graby, married firstly Anne Holland, but she died young without issue. He married secondly on July 18, 1474, Cecily Bonville, Shiro Jury Baroness Harrington and Bonville, by whom he had fourteen children. The disputed Queen Lady Jane Grey is a direct descendant from this line. Richard Grey, by King Edward IV, Elizabeth of York, Queen Consort of England, Mary of York, buried in St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, Cecily of York, Viscountess Wells Edward V of England, one of the princes in the Tower, Margaret of York, buried in Westminster Abbey, Richard, Duke of York, one of the princes in the Tower, Anne of York, Lady Howard, George Plantagenet, Duke of Bedford, buried in St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, Catherine of York, Countess of Devon, Bridget of York, nun at Dartford Priory, Kent. In literature, Edward IV's love for his wife is celebrated in Sonnet 75 of Philip Sidney's Astrophel and Stella. She is a character in Shakespeare's Henry VI Part III and Richard III. Portraits of Elizabeth Woodville in novels include, Dickon by Marjorie Bowen, which paints her as a schemer at the very heart of the various conspiracies against Richard III. The Daughter of Time, Josephine Tay's classic mystery, which shows her as less evil than self-centered and overly ambitious for her family. The King's Grey Mare by Rosemary Hawley Jarman, a fictionalized biography of Elizabeth Woodville which deftly incorporates several supernatural themes, among them the sinister legend of the European water spirit Malusine, from whom Elizabeth Woodville's family claimed descent, and Elizabeth Woodville's mother's historical ties to witchcraft and devil worship. The Sun in Splendor by Sharon K. Penman, a biographical novel about Richard III. The Sun in Spender by Jean Plady, an historical novel about the War of the Roses centered on the reigns of Edward IV and Richard III. Lady of the Roses by Sandra Worth, another less than sympathetic portrayal of Elizabeth Woodville. A Secret Alchemy by Emma Darwin. The White Queen by Philippa Gregory, which borrows Rosemary Hawley Jarman's supernatural elements from the King's Grey Mare. Elizabeth Woodville also appears in other novels in Gregory's Cousins War series. Screen portrayals, film, Richard III, Woodville was played by Violet Fair brother Richard III, Woodville was played by Carrie Lee. In the French film, Les Enfants d'A. Per Mildeard, Woodville was played by Jeanne Dilver. Jane Shaw, Woodville was played by Maud Yates. Tower of London, Woodville was played by Barbara O'Neill. Richard III, Woodville was portrayed by Mary Kerridge. In the Hungarian TV movie 3. Richard R. D. Woodville was played by Rita Barr Copyright Car Copyright S. Richard III, Woodville was played by Annette Benning. Looking for Richard, Woodville was played by Penelope Allen. Richard III, Woodville was played by Caroline Burns Cook. Richard III, Woodville was played by Mara Aconquita Alonso. Television, An Age of Kings. Woodville was portrayed by Jane Wenham. Wars of the Roses, Woodville was played by Susan Engel. The third part of Henry VI and the Tragedy of Richard III, Woodville was played by Rowena Cooper. The White Queen, Woodville was portrayed by Rebecca Ferguson. Schools named after Elizabeth Woodville, Elizabeth Woodville Primary School, Gribby, Leicestershire. 
Elizabeth Woodville Secondary School, Northamptonshire, Notes. References. Further reading, David Baldwin, Elizabeth Woodville, 2, Christine Carpenter, The Wars of the Roses, 3, Michael Hicks, Edward 5, 4, Rosemary Horrocks, Richard 3, A Study of Service, 5, J. L. Lena Smith, The Last Medieval Queens, 6, A. R. Myers, Crown, Household and Parliament in 15th Century England. London and Ron Sivert, Hambledon Press, 1985. Arlene Okerlund, Elizabeth Y. Deville, The Slandered Queen. Elizabeth, England's Slandered Queen, 7, Charles Ross, Edward IV, 8, George Smith, The Coronation of Elizabeth Y. Deville. Gloucester, Gloucester Reprints, 1975. Anne Sutton and Livia Visser Fuchs, A Most Benevolent Queen Queen Elizabeth Woodville's Reputation, Her Piety, and Her Books, The Ricardian, X, 129, June 1995. Pages 214 a Euro 245. External links, Brief Notes, The Portrait and the Coat of Arms.